-hmm. That's it? That's the one? If I walk away, that means it's good. Honestly, after seeing how you guys cook it, I think this is the best stall. Hey, this is some of the best food you can get here, to be honest. This is it. This is one of the best things I had today. The Brooklyn Nets play basketball in downtown BK at the Barclays Center. Now, when you think of stadium eats, you're definitely not thinking about birria tacos, kosher pastrami, lobster rolls, empanadas, jerk chicken, and short rib burgers from local Brooklyn purveyors. But that's exactly what they have at the Barclays. But before we show you all that food, Here's how we get to the arena. All right, everybody, this is how we get to the game. We go to the Grand Street Station. We take the B or D train. It goes straight to Barclays Center. Oh, insufficient funds. I got to go put money on it. Carrie, when was the last time you went to an NBA game? Shit, never. When was the last time you had sports, arena, or stadium food? Honestly, it was like, let me just get something to eat really quick. That it's not hyper local, it's just very commercialized. But from what I heard, Barclays is different. We're here at Barclays, and the whole goal is to try the best food, both in the main concourse as well as check out the Crown Club. I want, I want it all. I'm excited. All right, so our first spot that we got to check out in the main food concourse, AKA Brooklyn Taste, is Paisano. So now, Paisano is actually a local Brooklyn butcher shop that's very famous. It's in Borean Hill, Cabo Hill area, and now they have a spot here, and they got their special blend of burger here. Yeah, I know that they're really famous for meats. They do have Italian sandwiches at their flagship location, but here they're just more doing like an ultra premium burger. This is Paisano's special blend of burger right here, this patty. Got beef brisket, short rib. They also have, you know, standard chicken tenders. We had to pick those up as well. Paisano's burger. Kind of looks like a Big Mac, does it not? No, this is mad good. Oh my God. A lot of people tell me that this is their favorite burger at Barclays. Oh man, that's good. This is a tasty burger. Shout out to Paisano's, man. This is a great start. All right, next up, guys, we've got the Krabby Shack from Crown Heights. Obviously, they have a location here in the Barclays. They got famous for doing the lobster roll, which is part crab, part lobster. Krabby Shack. That's real crab. That's a real crab roll here at Barclays. And of course, to top it off, guys, they've got the Old Bay fries. Old Bay is kind of like, a, I want to say like a Cajun style, like seafood seasoning. All right, you guys, this is a brand new addition to Barclays Center, Nene's Taqueria. And a lot of places are just getting media right now on the East Coast. There, there's birria here at Barclays. Guys, we're in Brooklyn and we're having birria tacos. I feel like this is something that you might find more in LA, but shout out to the Nets for making it happen. Nene's Taqueria, this spot, they actually partnered with this local deli called Nene's and it's very famous, very, very mom and pop. So I think it's very cool. Birria tacos. Birria in Brooklyn. These are better than some birria tacos I've had at You know what I would say? They did a really good job of cooking the queso into the taco shell. End of the day, guys, these tacos are certainly a notch better than you would ever expect to find at a stadium. All right, you guys, we are getting something from Parm. Uh, they actually have a location in Nolita, which is right by where we live. So it's cool to get Parm, you know, over there, Parm over here. All right, right next to Nene's Taquiera, we have Parm. And Parm is actually a well known across the city for being a very kind of modern Italian home style soul food spot. It's the same people that also do the famous Carbone restaurant, which may, some of you may have heard of. But uh, this is their chicken parm right here. All right, guys, lots of sesame seed on top, lots of sauce. That's it? That's the one? All right. If I walk away, that means it's good. Meatballs from Parm. If I walk away... I have to say the meatballs are my favorite thing here. David Chang's Fuku. Hey, this is the same one you would try to get off Fuku.com. Yeah. So this is a potato bun right here. You got your two pieces of pickles, just like a classic chicken sandwich is. Got the Fuku tenders with the waffle fries. These are called Fuku fries. Thank you. Wow. Ranch yeah, dressing, just a little ranch, yeah. You want to double it up? Yeah, yeah. You want to double it up? Fuku double chicken it. sandwich. Juicy ass chicken. Juicy. These are the best tenders at Barclays. I've actually bought this sandwich on Uber Eats before from the actual standalone Fuku store. And honestly, this tastes a lot like it. It's pretty much the same. It's warm, it's spicy, the chicken is still juicy. Lots of flavoring. Honestly, right you don't even need any dip on these. They have so much flavor. Fuku got a lot of flavor. All right, you guys, we already hit five spots. 
super quick since we touched down at Barclays Center. What was your favorite so far? Not gonna lie, I think the meatball from Parm is probably the greatest hit right now. <laughs> Best meatball I've ever had. Okay, well, what's your second choice? The burger from Paisano's. I did not think like a spot called Paisano's was gonna have a burger that good. I'm still shocked at the flavor of those Birria tacos, man. They were legit. If they just had a little bit, a cup of co consomme on the side, crazy. All right, next up, we got Baggio's Pizza. Now, this is legitly made. It's not all frozen. The dough comes in pre-made, but they top it off and bake it fresh. So the cheese, the pep, the basil, it's all real. I mean, I would say for a pie at a stadium, these look very Neapolitan almost, like very Italian, Italy, Italy. Real nice, thin crust, real cheese. This is the margarita with pep. Baggio's. Mm. I like the meatball and I like this pizza. That's it. Barclays Center, Brooklyn Nets, Brooklyn Chase, let's go! And next up, we have probably the coolest foodie addition that you can get at Brooklyn Nets games. We got the Brooklyn Market. It is actually a food hall that is partnered with local mom and pops from Brooklyn, some of which, you know, needed some help during the pandemic or some that just have a great mission and some that are just really tasty. You are a fan of food halls. I love Todd English, but it's nice to know that at least if you can go to the Barclays, like you can come over here and get something real quick. We're gonna get Jamaican jerk chicken, some Thai food, and some special BK lobster rolls. The good thing about the Barclays is they're using all local vendors from here in Brooklyn. We're a local business owner. Our restaurant is on 4th Avenue and 12th Street in Park Slope. We got we got to peep his oh. Air Force Ones. Okay. Oh, yeah, he really about it. We got Barclays and we got BK Lobster. All right, you guys, we are taking a look at BK Lobster. Like they said, they have a flagship here in Brooklyn. So it's really cool that they have a stall at the Brooklyn Market within the Barclays. Okay, so what? here is your classic lobster roll here. You know, it has a lot more mayonnaise. And then on my left hand, and we actually have the hot roll. This is gonna be a little bit spicy. They also call it the biggie roll. This lobster David. mac and cheese. You, you try the, try the spicy Come on. one. BK lobster. lobster here at the bar. No place. comparison. Honestly, this should be in the front. The thing that's so dope about having this food hall here at Barclays is because I had seen BK lobster on Yelp, but because it's in a zone that we don't normally scooter to very often, I hadn't had a chance to try it. This is some of the best food you can get here, to be honest. This is it. Check out BK lobster. All right, what's up, everybody? We're here with Melina and Michaela from School Grounds. Can you explain to us, like, uh, what the stall is here? So we're Food, and, Food Education Fund, which is a nonprofit organization that supports high school students in food-based culinary uh, high schools. And here we opened our very own shop, School Grounds Cafe, and we're selling empanadas, chicken, beef, veggie, and PT lemonade. Awesome senior in food and finance, I dream to become a chef in the future and have my own business someday. These are the school ground empanadas. These are made by high school students who are aspiring to be chefs and in hospitality and food and beverage. All right, all right what did everybody get? I got a... Oh, uh, you got the beef one. Wow, I'm jealous. Oh, I got the chicken one. I got the mushroom one. Wow. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's see. Let's see if it's good though. Right. You know, it might change my mind. School, school grounds ground empanadas. empanadas. Try the beef one immediately. Did it blow your mind? This is one of the best things I had today. Bro. Hands down. Oh, the seasoning. Oh. No. The chicken one's pretty solid too, man. That beef empanada I had at School Grounds was the best empanada I ever had. All right, you guys, this is something I never thought I would see at like a sports stadium for the NBA, but they have Jamaican jerk chicken, super authentic cooked by Jamaicans right here at a little more. Guys, a little more also has a real location at the DeKalb food market. So you know it's legit. Listen, you are about to prep the Jamaican beef patty and right. the cocoa bread. So, Brandon. you know I'm from the Bronx, so this is usually how we eat it. We'll usually put the beef patty with the cocoa bread, but you gotta have some cheese on it. I don't know if there's cheese inside, but I'm gonna try it out. What a gal. It's so good, like this, by itself. A cocoa bread, beef patty, little more. I thought it was gonna be too dry. That beef patty got a lot of juice. It's very no, moist it inside and very soft. Super authentic jerk chicken of the game. We gotta go in. What other professional sports arena is gonna have authentic jerk chicken? The jerk chicken is really Good. spicy, really yeah, flavorful, got, very juicy. Got, we're gonna have to re-up on another one. Carrie, you live in the Jamaican neighborhood in the Bronx. You've had a lot of jerk chicken in your life. How does this stand up to it? It's definitely top tier, top tier. You could argue that that is the best lobster roll, the best empanada, 
and the best jerk chicken that I've ever had, or at least in that top tier. That is the best jerk chicken and lobster roll that you can get at any professional sports arena in America. Our next stall here at Brooklyn Market is Am Thai, and this is all Bangkok style food here. You have a Bangkok dumpling, which actually looks like a shumai, but it's a little bit different actually. And then you have your spicy Thai chicken bits right here. And then you got your potato curry puffs, as I heard the premier well, item. I gotta try the Thai shumai. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try these curry puffs here. I love Thai curry puffs. They have like the little braided edge right here. Let's check this out. Soft. These, These are, are so good. Out. These are hell. You are not gonna find curry puffs better than this. Did you forget that you're at a Brooklyn Nets game right now? I'll tell you this. I honestly forgot. If you told me I was gonna try Asian dishes that I never had had before at a Barclays Brooklyn Nets game, that would be mind blowing. But it happened. I had never had this before. I'm telling you, if the sauce is right, if the sauce is right, it's something Carrie likes. Last but not least here at Brooklyn Market, we have BK Beverages. They are bringing a lot of local beers to the game. A lot of them, most of them are from Brooklyn. Some of them are from just the greater New York area. All right, so we're finishing up here at Brooklyn Market, but there are still a few gems at the food concourse that we got to check out before we finish our video here. Not to mention guys, there is an exclusive VIP Crown Club area. We're gonna be giving you guys a sneak peek of, stay tuned. All right, our next spot is Pig Beach. Now this is the, one of two barbecue concepts that they have here. The other spot is kosher, this spot is not. Guys, we have chicken, pulled pork, we have a brisket sandwich, we have seasoned potato chips here, all on a nice soft potato bun. I never had a brisket sandwich. You have a brisket? I, yeah, I never had it before, but I hear good things. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, this is probably one of the messier stalls, so if you're gonna eat this, Make sure you got a lot of hand wipes. Make sure you're close to the bathroom. Or put it all in your mouth. Personally, I never had a brisket sandwich before, but if I was to go get one, I would probably get it at Pink Beach. The sandwich was juicy, the bun was soft, it was still hot. Really, what more can you ask for when you're watching the Nets play? All right, guys, our next spot is Witch and Brew. And this is something I would have never expected to find at Barclays. This is a bun me. That's a bun me? That's nah, that looks. That looks authentic. We've already had jerk chicken, we've had birria tacos, and now we're getting bun me, chicken bun me. And I gotta tell you this, this chicken bun me, it may not taste fully authentic, but it is tasty. All right, last but not least at Witch and Brew, I got these focaccia fries. I have never seen this dish before in my life, and you know me, I've been to a lot of fusion restaurants. Biting into these crispy, chewy breadsticks that are well seasoned with lots of sour cream on top, man. That was like a one of a kind dish. All right, our next spot is Gray's Smokehouse. This is the kosher option here. They have pulled beef sandwiches. They got a pastrami sandwich. They have knishes. I believe their motto, and they are famous in the Jewish community, but it's known as a kosher taste of the South. Here we go, this is a kosher pastrami. So this is my first time having a knish, but I can honestly say this with the fugu tongues probably tastes mad good. Honestly, this pastrami is actually way juicier than I thought. You know, I see it sitting in the boxes under the lamp, so sometimes you might think things are dry. It is not dry. All right, here I have the pulled beef sandwich from Gray's Smokehouse. This is kosher style. I'm not gonna lie, the bun and the beef kind of feels like a big chashu bao right now. Whoa! It's got good quality meat. I love good quality meat. I can tell you why there's such a line outside of Gray's. It's because the meats are juicy and the bread is super soft. This is the Brooklyn Nets fan shop. Let's take a quick look, because I gotta take a break from eating real quick. I think it's great that the Nets have like two different styles. Like they have the black and white, but they also have essentially the red, white, and blue now. Wow, he think he's somebody. He uh, think he's somebody, he's not ready. Who's not ready for what? It's game time, baby. <laughs> How you doing that? I Carrie, if you want a Nets jersey with Carrie B on the back, you get it right here. They're pressing them. And recently, one of the coolest collabs that the Nets did was with artist Warren Lotus. T-shirts sold out, and I've seen them on StockX for over $250. All right, guys, these are Nathan's Hot Dogs, AKA the Glizzies. What? Uh, you guys know, straight from Brooklyn. In fact, I had my birthday at Nathan's when I was mad young. Day you was Glizzy a Glizzy house. Gladiator, even I as was, a young. I was an OG Glizzy Gladiator. You was, that's so pause, super pause. Nathan's, Nathan's Hot Dogs. Nathan's is a legend for a reason. These are good. Nathan's. Nathan's gets the job done. Nathan's slinging glizzy since 1916. 
All right, one of the cool things that the Brooklyn Nets have here at Barclays is the American Express shop. Now, in this shop, you have to just scan your American Express card to get into it. And basically, they're gonna have a lot of the hot food from some of the busier stalls like Fuku and stuff there so that you don't even have to wait in line. You just grab your snacks and go. It's super efficient. Pazano burgers, we sell chicken. So for the people so, who don't want to wait in line. Right. right, this is a VIP, basically, for American Express. Floor seats and VIP section. I gotta let you guys know, Crown Club is actually run by the team from Carbone. This... <laughs> This is called the Candy Room, Candy Store, whatever you want to call it. You can come in here and grab whatever you want. Okay guys, so the Crown Club is only available to courtside season ticket holders, but if you come here, all these snacks are unlimited for free. Crucial, here at the Crown Club Candy Shop, they have Pocky Sticks. All right, you guys, we just wrapped up at Barclays. Brooklyn Nets beat the 76ers. Um, man, that was a pretty dope experience. It really was. Honestly, it's my first time ever like going to a place like this and having food like that in a stadium. That's freaking dope. See, I'm not going to lie. This, this is what you get when the Nets win. People are excited. <laughs> but I'm win. telling you, the food, the food offerings Hi. here. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> The food offerings here at Barclays Center for Brooklyn Nets games is crazy. It is so diverse. They work with so many local Brooklyn restaurants, mom and pops, two, you know, very successful chains, you know, restaurants that need some help, that just got a great product, and also just people who, who have already established themselves. Listen, I'm telling you, you got to love the vibe outside of Barclays when the Nets get a win because uh, even though it happens a lot, Everybody is all smiles. Everybody's high-fiving. All right, you guys, that does it. That was such a dope trip. Honestly, I had no idea that Barclays had so many different food options, especially local ones. What, what, you what was your top three that people got to try at Barclays? Honestly, the top three is definitely, y'all got to go to the American Express Lounge. If you have an American Express card, definitely use it. Paisano's, honestly, that's the most bang for your buck. I mean, honestly, you're going to be full after that. But definitely, you got to check out Brooklyn Market. It has everything, all the little bits that you want to taste from Brooklyn. You definitely got to go and no, check it out. I honestly think to expand on that, Brooklyn Market was my personal favorite thing. Man, that gave me such LES vibes. I said Kap Kung Kap to that lady at the Thai, AM Thai, which has some amazing Thai curry puffs, by the way. I love the jerk chicken, the beef empanadas, BK lobster. Everything at Brooklyn Market was my favorite personally. All I gotta say is you gotta try the Birria tacos, all right? They're still juicy. They got the queso inside and everything. And then you gotta try the, the kosher pastrami sandwich, and you gotta try a lot of this stuff. All right, you guys right. watch the video, you know what things but, we really but, like. Can we give an honorable mention at least to the fuku tenders? Yes, the fuku, the fuku tenders. tenders was top, top tier tenders. All right, all right. All right. my sleeper is the crinkle cut fries. They're so big and soft and tasty, I love them. Guys, we're about to break here. Uh, you are going back up to the BX, yes, to um, the Bronx. Yeah, you already know the vibes. So it goes to show you how easy it is, Andrew, me and you, we're obviously going back to the LES, so we're gonna go this way. Carrie B, you about to go that way to the BX. That was a dope night. All right, everybody, big shout out to the Brooklyn Nets, and if you ever get the chance to visit New York, or you live in New York, or you've been thinking about going to a Nets game, I think, hey, if the food might tip that decision over the edge because it's incredible there. So let us know in the comments down below what looked the best, and until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.